Today, I'm going to show you how to convert a smartphone into a dumb phone. Now that my kid is entering fifth grade, he's taking public transportation for the first time, and I just don't feel safe without knowing where he is, or what if he gets in trouble and needs to call me. I could give him any one of these dumb phones, or buy him brand new dumb phones, but it doesn't make any sense. Why buy something new when you already have something that's readily available? Chances are you have a bunch of smartphones laying around from the earlier years that you're not using. Obviously, I don't want to give him a smartphone with all of the internet capabilities like social medias, adult websites, and stuff like that. That's why I'm going to show you how to convert any smartphone into a dumb phone. Super easy. We're working on an Android phone right now, so let's go to the search. Search for old launcher. Click on install. Click on open. It will give you four blank apps. You can add apps in right now by pressing and holding it. So for the first one, I'm going to select the phone. Next, I'm going to use messages. Press and hold. Press and hold the third one. Change it to maps. The last one will be cameras. There we go. Now all I have is four basic app, nothing else on the screen, absolutely nothing. It is bare. If you want to add more apps, go ahead and press and hold anywhere else on the screen. Change the apps on the home screen, change it to five if you want. That way you get an additional app if you want more apps to be on the screen, on the home screen that is. Go ahead and set it up as the default launcher. All right, so we're going to select old launcher and set us as default. That way, whenever you press on the home screen, the home button, it will go back to this home page, which is bare with only five apps. If you want to see more apps, go ahead and pull it up. And now you have additional apps that you can always open. Now with so many apps, it can be distracting. You can always press and hold on any app that you want and then click on hide. There we go. We're going to hide this app. It will give you a warning to let you know, even though it's hidden, you can always find a way to resume to unhide it, that is. Click on OK. Let's go back to the Play Store. We need to install one more additional app. Let's get this app block Pro. It looks pretty good with high ratings. Click on Install. Click on Open. Set up a pin. Click on Create. Verify the pin one more time. Click on Save. Allow permissions required. Allow some permissions, such as show over other apps. Click on Permits. Click on OK. Click on OK. Permits. Click on OK. Click on OK. By default, it's going to show you some of the unlock apps. And it also automatically locks some of the apps itself, such as Chrome, Google Play Store, and the settings. See where I'm getting with this? That way, your kid can't go into the settings and then change the home launcher to something else. Let's give it a try, shall we? Click on settings. It requires a password for you to change any settings, such as the home launcher. Your kid can't just go to the Google Play Store and download any apps that they want. Let's try it. Click on Play Store, and immediately you ask with a password. That's pretty slick. These two applications, the old launcher and the app lock, it's pretty good, not just for your kids, but also for you yourself as well. Sometimes I'm so distracted with social media, with games, with the news. I just want to lock it all up and still be able to use my phone for something else later on. Now, just in case you're tired of old launcher or you want to go back to your normal launcher, go ahead and go back to the settings. Go down to apps. Find the launcher that you want. For me, it's Nova Launcher, right there. Go down a little bit, click on Home Screen, and then choose Nova Launcher. There we go, we're now back to normal. All right, hopefully this video helps you with converting your smartphone to a dumb phone. No need to buy anything at all. I really appreciate you guys subscribing to my channel, liking this video, and thanks for watching.